Indonesia. Once a nation on the edge. Now a rising regional power. My name is Karim Rasla and for almost 20 years I've been exploring the archipelago. As Indonesia goes to the poles, I'm once again traveling to listen to the hopes and dreams of ordinary Indonesians. These are their stories. Welcome to Ambon Manise, Ambon the Sweet. When I first came to Indonesia, the thing that struck me the most was the national motto, Bineka Tunggal Eka. Taken from an old Javanese poem composed by Umpu Tantula in the Majapahit era, it has come to express the hope that Indonesia could become and remain united despite its diversity. Yet from 1999 to 2002, these beautiful islands were the scene of bloody conflict between Muslims and Christians. According to most sources, the initial violence in January 1999 was due to a confrontation at a bus terminal in the nearby Batumera village. The exact details are sketchy, for what followed was a vicious cycle of attacks and reprisals between both Christians and Muslims throughout Maluku. Abetted, it has to be said, by external provocateurs. Whatever the exact causes, both sides suffered horribly. Sara Wakele is 63 years old. She used to live in Bentengkarang, but is now in Paso, a refugee resettlement area with her husband Imus. Christians, they know better than most the horrors of the past. <laughs> Betul tanam gas di pinggir rumah. Tum potong, potong bela poro lah. Lepas anak baru cincang, cincang lapisan kecil baru bakar. Kalau sakit mati penyakit ngapa patok? Dong anja ya sampai begitu. Dong memang dong bawa semua anak bensin semua bawa. Ini yang bikin katong. Sara has not only the trauma of the past, but an uncertain future. The struggle is now economic to get on with life while still dealing with the painful memories of yesteryear. Paso is not nearly as fertile as Bentengkarang is, but Sara remains afraid to return. Clearly, the traumas of the past still run deep. Takut. Ini su aman tapi katong su trauma begitu kan kita. Kita katong dengar dari siapa lah dong bikin katong begini tapi katong sem bagaimana sem simpang hati sakit gitu. Ya. Aman supaya katong tak aman supaya bisa mencari jamin anak-anak sekolah. The violence of Ambon, unfortunately, is a direct challenge to all of this. It is a stark reminder that the process of nation building and integration is a long struggle. It is often fraught with dangers and pitfalls, which is what has happened in Ambon and Maluku. But as is always the case, it's the young who bring about change. 